Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at a little dongle. Actually, quite powerful DAC and amp by Heidi's. Let's take a look. Okay guys, I wanna say right from the start, thank to HiFiGo, I'll put a link in the video description who sent me this. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of people contact me asking to review stuff and disclaimer, I wanna state this nice and clear that I do this only if, first of all, the, the product is of quality and second of all, even most importantly, I want to be 100% transparent clear and honest with you guys, okay? So this is very important, and the people at Hi-Fi Go said, no problem, we're confident about the product, go ahead. So, here we are. Okay guys, let's go and unpack our DAC amp, our dongle. Okay, let's take off the wrapping. Here we go. Nice little box. All the indications, mostly in Chinese. So, let's see how this appears inside. Here we go. Okay. And there it is. Very nice with this ribbon to take it out. Very slick. So here's the dongle. Very, very small. We'll see that in a sec. Let's see what's below here. Very nice. Okay. You have a card with some indications with also the serial number data purchase, and as you can see, a few accessories. So let's end the manual. Plus another card. And another little card. Okay. Let's put these things aside. So we found this. This is a gift card I see. 10% discount, okay. You're probably gonna grab that code, no problem. Here we have the quality control, okay. Here we have, obviously, a little manual in Chinese, but also English. As you know, this is compatible with every type of phone, of uh, OS, Android, anything computers, Mac, Windows. So in this little bag, we have, oh, I like this. The little, I don't know if you can see that. The little stickers, the high res certification stickers. We have a USB adapter, a classic USB, where you can insert the USB-C type inside. So you can put it also in a computer or directly in your in your phone. As you know, we don't have that many jacks now anymore. Plus this is a DAC, so you want to get the digital data. So that's very nice with its own little logo, IDs. Okay, plus you also have a little case, which is nice with a clip. Well, that seems cool. I mean, you can put this on if you want, because otherwise it's gonna just sit around if you're using it with your phone. So that's cool, I think. That's a nice touch. And then we have our baby. Let's see. Very nice. We have two types of inputs, but we'll see the details afterwards. Here we insert its own cable. Very nice. Nice, 
nice feel pretty light not too much parts of metal parts of plastic very very cool okay guys so as you have seen this the s9 pro is a balanced balanced DAC and amp yes now there are a few more actually around but i must admit that mainly technology people houses are focusing on DACs. this is also a powerful quality amp as we will see here's the little guy we've already seen during during the unboxing i put the little hi-fi high-res label certification as you can see it is so small and easy to bring along it's just practically the 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 same width of the connector if you think about it of the USB a connector just a little slightly larger and it has various functions and it does DSD all the way up to 512 also it reaches all the way up to more than 700 kilohertz I mean you're not gonna even gonna find files with that resolution nevertheless I do uh, I did listen to something half of that because I do have different types of files different types of DSD and I must admit that the quality is very very good there is something missing but there it is always missing to any type of dongle I want to say this right right now we're missing the depth okay it's very difficult to achieve with this type of technology and I, I and I really want to underline not that you, not just this uh, dongle here anybody anyone you do not have depth you do not have sound stage things are rather compressed nevertheless the resolution of this guy is very very good I have other dongles I have feel the um, elements gears pieces of gear <sighs> not that good not that good yes they're older actually this is very new the price is very good we're just below or around 100 dollars so i mean cheap but very high quality and i like this even the construction very very good so i tried it i tested it with my smartphone obviously with my, my computer with different types of headphones also and I want to say that I must admit that when you start to use the single ended is good, but the balance connection, ooh baby, things start to be nice and beefy and well sculpted. I like it much more. And also you have a, a higher output already. Uh, with the single ended, you just have 100 milliwatt, milliwatts. While instead with the balance output, it's double. Okay, let's take a look also just for a moment on the different connections, the different colors. Yes, because each frequency or group of frequencies, PCM and DST have different colors. Very nice. Let's see. Okay, so let's try to test now with Audio Nirvana, meaning a PC, a computer, in this case, a Mac. We're gonna put our headphones. We're gonna take our dongle. We're going to put the USB adapter. Remember always to keep the logo. I don't know if you can see it. The logo has to go to the source. Okay. We connect our headphones. And we already have a nice clean signal. Okay. So as you can see, Audirvana recognized it, which automatically um, signals the highest rate 32 bits 768 kilohertz wow gazawa here is our baby now it's signaling blue but as soon as we're going to start to feed something else we're going to have different colors for example i have here jazz at the pawn shop which is 368 no 352.8 let's see what happens there you go red or dsd 256 nice and purple 
the function is just seamless. Very, very easy, very, very smooth. It just works, guys. I also tried it, actually. I know it's an unfair test, but I really wanted to try it out with my planner magnetic three meter balance cable, which I <laughs> connected thanks to this fantastic adapter which ju that just fits in like this. There you go. In the balanced input and you guys, it delivered. It delivered. Obviously, it's not like connecting it to a one watt uh, or two watt amplifier like the one I have, which I'll review or I'll talk about uh, further ahead. In any case, you do not have the full scenario, the full plate, we could say, of a power standalone amplifier, obviously. Nevertheless, the quality was there. I mean, perfectly audible. I mean, if I try this with, on my phone, obviously with the converter, uh, single-ended or balanced, not even close. Even if I turn up all the volume, it's just not enough power. With this, you already have enough power. Obviously, you need to have, you need to use the balance connection. Otherwise, you're not gonna enjoy uh, at least three quarters of the quality of, the, of a planar, planar, magne, planar magnetic headphones. In any case, you're not gonna use planar magnetic headphones usually with something like this. A dynamic headphone is better. Nevertheless, nevertheless, if you have quite sensitive headphones, not like this one, which are constructed and built for portable media, then everything starts to fall in place. Oh yes, oh yes. And when you have this amount of power, you can really turn down the volume on your computer, the smartphone, and lowering distortion, lowering the noise, and the quality is just better. So, I do recommend this considering the low cost, because it is cheap in, in the end, the portability, the construction, and obviously the audio quality, the Sonics. A good purchase, absolutely. Okay, guys, thank you again for watching. Please leave your comments. Please leave your suggestions for other dongles that you uh, appreciate, or if you already have the experience with this. Plus, keep an eye open to Unheides, because I, I've checked their, their, um, their website and their full of stuff also on Kickstarter. Amazing things are about to come out. Very cool. Bye guys. Remember, music is born analog. Ciao. Well guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.